Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Mondo Docs. My name is Lawrence. Today I am not at a haunted or spooky location. Instead, I'm at a very, very beautiful and fascinating and unique location called Columcilla Park. It is located in a small town called Bangor, which is in northeastern Pennsylvania. This place is different. It is one of a kind, at least here in Pennsylvania, maybe even the United States, who knows. Um, but this was this park was constructed in 1970 something mainly for people to come to relax meditate and to find some inner peace so i figured today why not come out and walk some trails i've been here numerous times before it's not my first time here but i figured come out here walk some trails maybe together we can find some inner peace maybe um but either way i figured why not take you along with me and uh yeah go explore the park a little bit. So if you've never been here before, awesome. I think you're gonna enjoy it. So uh, yeah, let's go explore. In the mountains of northeastern Pennsylvania lies Column Silo Park, which was founded in 1978 by William Cohey Jr. when he was inspired by his trip to the Isle of Iona. He knew he wanted to create a space that was open to people of any and every faith and tradition to come find their inner peace and possibly engage in spiritual transformation. Yeah, right now we're coming up to a uh, a stone structure that resembles Stonehenge a little bit, but uh, it's pretty cool. Check it out. And focus this a little bit. Let's uh, let's walk through it. Yeah, along these trails, there are a lot of cool um, giant boulders kind of set up around. And these trails do go pretty deep inside the woods. Um, I'm pretty sure I've explored most of them, if not all of them. And yeah, this is part of a fairy ring walk. Uh, we will go down this way. We'll go down Celtic Eye trail but yeah there's a lot of rock stacking uh, in this park which has to be a lot of work especially with giant boulders um, I don't know how long it was I don't know how long it took them to put this place together but it had to be a while and a lot of a lot of hard work um, I do know a lot of the boulders came from Blue Mountain um, but yeah I can only imagine um, bringing these boulders down these trails and, you know, just organizing this place in general. But this is pretty cool right here. You're about to like walk through some, some portal into the woods. Yeah, let's walk through this portal together here. Now we're on the other side, but it's cool. It's pretty badass. Now this is a uh, inner walk uh, trail. We'll go down here and see what's down here. I have to admit, I've never been down there when, like, during the fall. So this is absolutely beautiful. Like, I never actually seen this place uh, during the autumn season. Like, it's pretty amazing. I've only been here in the summertime or the springtime. So I'm pretty glad I came out here with the camera today to uh, to film and document all the beautiful orange leaves and so forth. Got some peace signs and hearts on trees. It'd be cool to come down here at night, but unfortunately this place closes at dusk. 
So I think I read some article online, or not an article, some blog online about this place. And um, it was some guy's first time here. I think one of the owners uh, said, you don't want to be here at night. <laughs> I think they said there was some spooky stuff happening in the, in the chapel, which we'll, you know, we'll check that place out later. But, um, and I guess the chapel can be pretty spooky at night, but I'm pretty sure this entire place, even this trail at night would be pretty, uh, pretty unsettling. And I've seen other people here, like two other people, uh, up on the main, um, main, uh, lawn with all the bigger boulders and the bell tower, which we'll find later on as well. But when I pulled in, there was really no one else here. Maybe two other cars, three other cars, maybe that's it. But it's been, uh, pretty nice to have these trailers by yourself. Got a little stone thing up there we'll go check out. You know, coming off the main trail here and up this little path. And I have to admit, I've gone off the main trail before in these woods, and it's pretty difficult to get lost because you kind of find yourself back where you began. At least I have. Like, this is pretty rad. There you go. These rocks right here. Yeah, this must have took some time and work to put together. I'm sure of it. But these woods are very, very peaceful. Alright, we're gonna go down the Sacred Women's Site Trail. I don't think I've been on this trail before, to be honest with you. This is a new trail for me. So we'll, uh, we'll check it out and see, uh, see what's down here. I'm always down to find new trails. Let's give a little uh, sitting area over here. more little rock stackings over here and a tree in the middle hmm. got some names carved in here uh, Elena C plus C. We'll have a seat for a second and uh, admire this uh, this circle of rocks. Thank you. 
San Columba Chapel, built in 1979. Welcome to St. Columba Chapel. It's a resting place of Colum Silas founders. And a space dedicated to uh, quiet meditation. And yeah, it was inspired by uh, structures in uh, yeah, Iona, Scotland. Cool. Got some stuff over here. Yep, this is the Column Sile is a Celtic art center of megalithic stone celebrating myth, mystery, and the spirit. Enter the St. Columba Chapel as pilgrims on the homeward journey dedicated as a holy space. We ask you to respect it in silence and in peace. Over here you have a guest book you can write in, leave your name, leave some feedback. <laughs> but yeah, this was constructed in 1979. In fact, the founder of this park um, drew an outline of this chapel in the sand um, when he was over by Iona and he came back and decided to, you know what? Let's make this a reality. Let's just build this chapel. And I'm pretty sure this was the first structure to be constructed in this park. I'm pretty sure. But yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna sit down for a little bit. And, uh, yeah, just kind of, just kind of soak it in. Just kind of relax for a little bit, you know? But that's the idea of this chapel. That's the idea of this whole park, is to come here and just kind of relax. And like I said before, try to find your inner peace, if you can. Might be kind of difficult in 2020, but... <laughs> It would be cool if this place was haunted, but, but it's not. I don't think it is. I'm pretty sure it's not. Yeah, this is the bell tower over here. Boulder in here, a little rock in here. But yeah, this is probably my favorite part about Column Sile is the bell tower. And the owner, I believe he said that this is dedicated to another saint whose name slips my mind at the moment. But he says, I believe he says he wants to give this like an unfinished look, which is, you know, I think he was successful in that. Um, to give it like a, a feeling that it's constantly being unfolded. Take that as you will. But. That's pretty cool. We'll go up here and explore. I haven't really been over here before. At least not this pond area. I think there's some fish in here. Oh. I think I heard a, a frog jumping. Oh, yep. Yeah. Got some goldfish right over there. Can't really see them though in this the camera. There they are.
Oh, another goldfish right over there. Oh, I lost him. But we'll go up here and check things out. I feel like I'd be so anxious to go under this thing. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's go underneath this giant, this giant rock. Oh, please don't fall on me. Okay, we made it. We survived. It didn't fall on us. That's good. A little bench here. Oh yeah. Okay, we'll go down there in a second. Pretty unique looking rock over here. Got a nice little fire pit going on. I feel like this is like the perfect spot to come down here at night and just, just to chill. But also, I feel like this is the place for people to come and have like rituals. <laughs> I can see that, right? Like people coming down here, you know, have a fire and um, a little sacrifice here and there. Pretty cool. Ah, this is a pretty badass looking throne right here. Yeah, this feels right. Like I said before guys, this is a pretty awesome area. It's a pretty unique spot. I can't think of anything like it in Pennsylvania, to be honest with you. It's unique, it's fascinating, and it's very, very peaceful to come uh, walk around these trails. If you can, Check out Columbsala Park before it gets too cold out. It's in Bangor, Pennsylvania. It's an absolutely fascinating location. But uh, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like button. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. There's a lot more videos coming your way. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Oh yeah, and up the street, it's a giant fucking chair. No reason at all. Just a giant chair for giants.